guys, this is Juan, I'm Juan Zuniga and this is TMF Lifestyle. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is how to safe handle a firearm. I think we should have started with this video instead of introducing how to conceal carry a firearm. Um, I just want to remind you guys that conceal carrying and, you know, having a fi owning a firearm, please, you know, consult your local laws, figure out how, what's the safe way of legally having a firearm so you don't get in trouble. So I'm going to talk about the four basic or the four uh, safety rules there are for firearms. All right. Um, so I'm going to talk about the four basic safety rules on firearms. I'm going to use this prop. is uh, It's not a real gun. It's, it's, a, it's a prop. So you know it's safe. Um, that's so. Whenever you get a firearm, always make sure it's unloaded. Doesn't matter how if the person that gives it gives it to you checks it. Every time that you receive a firearm, make sure it's unloaded. The rule says is to treat a firearm as is, as it as if it is loaded. So may always make sure to, that it's unloaded. So the best way to do it is to grab the firearm, point it at a safe direction. Make sure that if if it discharges for any reason, it won't harm anybody else. So make sure it's a safe direction. All right, and then you rack it a few times. As this is a prop, this, this gun does not rack. So, but make sure you grab it from here and you rack it a few times to make sure that the, 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 there's no bullets in the chamber. And then open it up, make sure the chamber is empty, make sure there's no mags inside. All right, if that's it and you rack, you take out the mag, you rack it a few times, make sure that the chamber is empty and is safe to use then, the gun is safe to use. The second rule is not to point a gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. So even if the gun is unloaded and you know it's unloaded, never ever point that gun at somebody or something you're not willing to destroy. And the fourth rule, I don't know if you guys have noticed, is do not put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to shoot. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but through the whole video, I've always had my finger on the side. You know, I've never, even though this is a prop, it's just something that it's basically second nature to me. You know, I just every time I grab a gun, this is how I grab it, you know. I never go in, I always, that's the way. You know, so it's something you have to get used to, but it's something that you have to know. Um, I've seen it in the local gun shops that um, I've seen, I saw somebody one time that he grabbed a gun and he went, you know, tr he, he grabbed it and he kind of like put the finger in there and trying to kind of like shoot it or whatever, even though it was unloaded or whatever. The guy grabbed his gun and put it back in, inside the the showing case because he knew that the guy wasn't comfortable with guns he wasn't he didn't know how to handle a gun a gun safely so it's something that you need to learn those four basic rules are something you need to learn if you go to a gun shop a gun show or even when you're training you go to a, a shooting range is something you know they have their own rules as well and it's something that just becomes second nature i think that the best way is to buy a prop and and work around with it and and, and play and and practice with it so you can become, you know, say, you know how to safely handle a gun when you actually have a gun in front of you and you have one in your hand. Um, I wanted to respond to a few comments that we had uh, more of the past video of concealed carry. Uh, the most, most, most of the comments were great comments uh, coming from you guys, but a lot of them were uh, from European people from Europe and all that that commented on, you know, how Americans. Um, and their guns or whatever. Somebody said, you effing Americans and whatever. And I just wanna say is that, yes, we have guns, but we do it because we believe in our second amendment and we, we believe that we need to protect ourselves from bad people. And there's a lot of studies that you guys can look uh, that having straight gun laws doesn't stop, you know, the murders, gun murders and all that. Washington DC had the trigger lock policy which you know you basically it was one of the strictest gun laws and their murder rates by guns was way higher than florida where florida is more um easy going with their laws and you know it's very accessible to people um there's another uh another thing that you, if you look into the switzerland um switzerland is a lot of people carry guns there. It's, uh, it's a place that, at least when I did, because I did re research on this for one of my law school classes, and Switzerland was a, a place where they all had training at an early age, and, 
and, and they have like a time for, uh, age time frame where they're required to carry and have a gun um, training or whatever. In Switzerland, their death by guns is way lower than any country, even though, you know, everybody, mostly everybody carries guns. So, you know, it's just um, like one of the comments said that gun laws only restrict good people but not the bad people because bad people, they, they don't go out legally to buy their guns. They just, you know, get it from the street and whatever. And then when the good person wants to go buy a gun, they have all these troubles and, and hurdles they have to go through to be able to purchase that gun. So it's just a little comments that I had that, but I think everybody that actually liked the video and had great comments, actually we had a lot of great comments and I thank all you guys. And, and God bless America. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe.